Look at me, please. Thank you. Okay, so thank you all for coming um, today. Okay, um, here. Okay, it's a momentous day because the last time we saw these three gentlemen together, it was in um, two, 2011, right? Okay, so my name is Michelle, um, and um, I'm just welcoming you here today. Uh, please take note of the date, all right? Uh, it is now 12 years after that we finally have another presidential election. So it's taken us 12 years to get another presidential election. And it's a very precious vote for everybody, okay? So these three men came together in 2011. That's for the last time you saw them in, in a row, I think, and our photos all together. And it was because they were here to ask for the vote. And between them, between them, Dr. Ta got 35%, Mr. Mr. Ta Ji Se got 25%. Okay, Mr. Tan Kinian got 5%. If you add that up, those go in math is 65%. Okay, so 65% of Singaporeans were voting for what? They were voting for an independent president. Because, um, and that is exactly what has drawn these three men together today, because they know that an independent president is vital for Singapore. And um, they've come together, and, and what is independence about? So we are all, everyone's trying to, to define that. When a child is independent from their parents, it means that they are not reliant on their parents any longer for their livelihood. So it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter which house you stay in, it's when you do not rely for a livelihood on your parents. So when you say independent from the government, it means you don't rely on the government for your livelihood, for your paycheck, or for funds to start your company. So all these three men, just like Mr. Ong Teng Chong, who was seen, our fifth president who was seen as an independent mind, the reason why is because they have great accomplishments, not only in the public sector, where they rose to very distinguished positions, but then they came out to the private sector. And so they made their own living through their professions and their expertise. All right, so Ong Teng Chong was an architect, Dr. Tan, a medical doctor, uh, Tan Ji Se, uh, Mr. Tan Ji Se in the, in the financial sector and Mr. Tan Kin Lian, um, he came out and started his own uh, computer software company and uh, went into uh, also insurance consultancy. You know? So they have a great deal of experience. We know that in Singapore, only a handful can qualify for president. To have these three men here who all qualify for the president and that means that they are men of great capability, they are also men of great courage. So I think we have here gathered in this room these three individuals of great cap capability and great courage among the top in Singapore. And so I'd like to we'd like to start off by hearing from Dr. Tan Ching Bok, and then we'd like to hear from Dr. Uh, Mr. Tan Ji Se, and then Mr. and the man of the hour, Mr. Tan Kin Lian, and then we will take some questions from you. All right, uh, sorry, uh, Dr. Tan, uh, your notes are resting on the mic. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> 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 okay, so Dr. Tan, please thank you. Sir. Okay, good morning all of you. I think many of you may wonder why I'm here today. I'm sure that must be in the minds of many of you. Why I'm here today with my competitors from PE2011. The answer is actually very simple. Today we are here as comrades who share a common vision that is, to have an independent president. So I'm here in my personal capacity as a PE2011 candidate because Singaporeans want transparency and also accountability. Having another establishment endorsed candidate as president will not provide this. So this is a very basic fundamental a, a principle that I hold. Only a truly independent president can do that job. Now, this presidential election is very important to me. And uh, you all must, I want you all to focus on this election. Many Singaporeans are very distracted by so many issues before them. But they must focus. What is this president, what is the presidential election about? It's actually to, to make sure that your reserves are taken care of properly and to find the right people 
to run the government. And, and these right people, they are all chairmen or leaders in the state boards and some of our and in the civil service. So this is so we must not get distracted by many many issues in any political any, any election. Let me tell you, this is apolitical, but this presidency is apolitical. And we, like I said, we are not here as a, as a politician, but to, as a comrade together now for this coming presidential election. Now, so I worry when I see the, what is happening in the press, all so many issues throwing mud at each other. This I regard as very dangerous politics. This is gutter politics. Don't lose focus. Our focus is to make sure that this presidential election is to find an independent person into Istana to ensure that what the country, what this reserve, is your money, has to be taken care of properly. So this is very, very fundamental. So I always watch how the, new, the, the, the media is moving. There's too many distractions. Now, as you all know, I would repeat, I had the two roles of the president just said, eh? and that you need somebody to make sure these two roles are really uh, adhered to properly. It must be somebody who's independent. Somebody who's with the establishment, I always suspect that this, this uh, collusion, this, this is this together with the, with the establishment uh, people, maybe make them very uncomfortable if they choose to be to take decisions that is contrary to what the establishment people want. But I'm also I'm very sad actually. Some of you may not know, but actually was I was sick for a while, but I never let my sickness deter me on achieving what I hope to achieve our country. So, thank God I recovered well, so I'm, I'm ready. And you, and you must fulfill, I want to fulfill what I wanted, Singapore. It's for the country, to make sure that Singapore are run by good people. They always label the people who are not with them, are not able to, to do many things, but we have to prove them wrong. I'm also sad that the political landscape is in such turmoil. I'm sad that a highly qualified candidate, for example, like George, was not eligible. Now, why? Because they raised the bar for private candidates by increasing the shareholders' equity from one equity five times to 500. During our time, it was 100 million, but then they raised it up to 500 million. Now, the circle of people who qualify gets shrunk and so it becomes smaller, harder to get people. So when people like George, who's prepared to come forward, also get disqualified, who else, who else will want to come forward? Now, the interesting thing is there's no equivalent condition for the other side, the public sector side. So sometimes I wonder, actually, you require a person with 500 million keep a, a, a company and over the, to run this pot of gold, your big piggy bank. And then the other side, no need. If you're chief justice, you can be. If you're speaker, you can be. Now, it doesn't equate, you know. So I think there's something, some changes must be made. And this is, this is not a healthy trend for Singapore. That means you will always get people from the establishment side and not from the public sector. And the public sector has got very, very good people who can also do the job very well. And the government must give the people the choice to vote in a president, uh, a president who is very independent. Now, so today, I want to plead with you to stand for what is right. Love your country by supporting the cause for an independent president. Your one vote counts. Remember, your one vote counts. Make it worth it. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. <laughs> Mr. Tanji Say.
Yeah, I agree with whatever Dr. Tan Chimok has said. It resonates with me. But I want to give my personal perspective to this matter. Why did I propose Mr. Tan Tin Lien for the candidate to be president? He asked me, hey, he said, can you propose me? Is it okay? I asked you to propose me. I have no hesitation at all. Yes. Uh, he did not offer me anything and I did not ask for anything in return. I just do what is right. And what is right is to have an independent president. And Tin Lian has all the hallmarks of an independent president. I have known him since he was CEO of NTUC Income. I was in the financial sector as a fund manager. We manage money. So there's a common interest in that. So, and I know he's bubbling with ideas all the time, what is good for the policy holders of insurance. And yeah, that resonates with me, always customer focus. And I think he brings to this presidential election that personal touch of concern for people, for customers, all the voters, all the Singaporeans are his customers. And he will work for their interests. He is bubbling with ideas and he is not afraid to speak up, speak up his ideas. And while he has his own ideas, he is quite open to new ideas. He says, he says, these two roles, public sector integrity and safeguarding of uh, reserves, you are the insider, you are a civil servant, and you, have, uh, you are an economist in the, in the government. So you know a lot about this. And yes, whatever I can do, I will help you on this aspect. I am very worried about the integrity of the public service in the light of recent public scandals. You know, so many things happen and it involves how civil servants relate with ministers. And I think as a civil servant myself before, it, it is not easy for a civil servant to relate to a minister if he thinks that something is just not right. All right? It is, uh, or there are some gray areas. So how should I react? How should I respond? He asked for information. Is it for the public interest or is it for his personal interest? So. I think rules must be set, set, clear rules must be set for this. And it is important because, you know, unlike the British Civil Service, which is used to changes of government all the time, Singapore is not used to changes of government. We have the same government for the past 64 years. So it's like an institution and the distinction between civil service and government becomes blurred. So I think we need clear guidelines and I hope to be able to help Kin Lian in this when he becomes president. I think in it, I talk a lot of civil servants, this what I say resonate with a lot of civil servants, ex-civil servants who WhatsApp me and say, oh, we agree with you, let's, let's get it, let's set it right. I hope to do so. As for safeguarding of reserves, I think this is an area I can contribute to and I will do my best because I know the workings of government I was an economist in, in government. I was with the Ministry of Trade and Industry. I interfaced with MAS all the time uh, when I was there. So I know, I know uh, about these reserves. And I think uh, there is something that resonates uh, me with uh, what Gillian has said, that we must have enough reserves, but not too much. Not too much such that it choked the economy and burdens the people. So I totally agree with him. We should have a fresh look at the level of reserves necessary to safeguard the dollar and to safeguard to provide for contingency needs, emergency users. And I think these are the two areas that are of great concern to Mr. Tan Kin Lian and they are the twin roles of the president. And I think uh, he has his ideas, but he is also open to a lot of ideas. So I hope to help him out with my personal experience and knowledge and expertise. Good. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that's why we've got the way you vote for Mr. Tan Kim Lian, you get the expertise of three wise men. Okay. All right. <laughs> me, thank you very much, Mr. Tan. Do you say? Can we hear from Mr. Tan Kim Lian now, please? Now, in the presidential election in 2011. Dr. Tan Ching Bok 
Tan Ji Sei and I contested as candidates who are independent of the ruling government. Together, we received 64.8% of the total votes. Dr. Chan, Dr. Tan lost narrowly to Dr. Tony Tan by less than half percent, 0.5 percent of the total vote. Due to the change of rules, I remain the only one among the three of us who qualify for this election. I'm glad that Ching Bok and Ji have now endorsed my campaign. I will rely on their valuable advice uh, to reach the people. I would like to express my sincere thanks for their support. Thank you. Thank you. We will carry on our teamwork by offering to work with the government to achieve our common goal of making life better for the people. We will help the ruling government to be a better government by improving accountability and transparency through independent audit and scrutiny. In this way, we hope that the people of Singapore will have stronger trust uh, in our government. The, the, our platform is an independent president. I want to explain what does this mean in practice. In his role, the president has to give approval for the use of past reserves and for the appointment of uh, top people, people into the top levels uh, of our public service. Now being independent means the president must look at every recommendation of the government closely and with one principle, uh, one principle uh, factor. Is this proposal in the interest of the people of Singapore? So while the recommendation comes to the president, the president needs to have an independent scrutiny and judge it. Is this in the interest of the people of Singapore? We don't want a situation where the president, being closely associated with the government, will give approval without careful scrutiny. That is the role of an independent president. Uh, that is a role that I need the support of Dr. Tan and uh, Ji Se because this is the most important uh, role that a president can perform uh, under the constitution to be to have an independent uh, check on the recommendation before giving approval. This is very important for the people of Singapore. Uh, do not miss this chance uh, so that uh, we can uh, use the president's power of scrutiny uh, and uh, having an independent look to make sure that all uh, decisions passed by the president are in the interest of the people. We all, the three of us, uh, think like Singaporeans and we work for the best for Singapore and for the people. I hope that the people of Singapore like this approach and will work for me on 1st September. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that was from the three um, presidential candidates from 2011, all standing firmly behind Mr. Tan Kim Nian, uh, the presidential candidate for 2023. So uh, are there any questions from the press?
Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hi, uh, Mr. Tan Kin Lian. Hi, Anwar here from Bita Harian. Um, you have a lot of strong backing from Mr. Tan Ji Se and also Dr. Tan Chen Bok. Uh, does, this, does this mean that if you are elected as president, you plan to have them appointed into your CPA? <coughs> now, this is the Council of Presidential Advisors. Uh, the president will have to appoint three people into the council. Uh, for me, uh, I uh, am quite clear uh, that uh, uh, the advisors uh, will advise me uh, and uh, they will share the, uh, the same vision of an effective independent president. Uh, they will be excellent candidates into the council. I have not asked for their book. Their, I have not asked them this question yet. Uh, so we have to wait for uh, 1st September for me to be elected. Okay, next question. Yes, go um, ahead. So what kind of support is Dr. Tan giving? Oh, could you uh, uh, introduce yourself? Oh, sorry, I'm Julia from Mothership. Okay. Uh, what kind of support is Dr. Tan giving? Is, is there any funding or um, resources? And also, um, early in the morning, uh, Eng Kok Zhang said that there's a problem that presidential candidates are supported by political parties. So do you have any comments on that? Mm -hmm. I think we've already heard from Dr. Yeah, Tan, okay, but, I, but maybe you want to say it again? I think you see, the, the presidential election should be apolitical. Mm -hmm. Very, very from the from the very start, it should okay. be happened that way. But issues sometimes quite political do appear. So that's why I say you must always focus. Mm -hmm. What is this election about? It's a president election. So it's better that we move away from as many of these issues related to to the uh, to the GE, mm -hmm. uh, and we just focus on that because people must understand what. We created this presidency for the prime purpose of making sure our reserves are taken care properly. That is very important. Mm -hmm. And also making sure that the people who is going to run this, not only this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this big kitty of us, but also the people who are going to run this country are men of quality. And that's where, as a president, we don't try to stray too much. We will do what is the best. Uh, to do for, for the country. Mm, okay. Okay, uh, I, I will, I, 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 I will continue. There's a question, uh, are the political parties funding my uh, campaign? The answer is no, uh, they are not. And I look upon uh, GC and mm -hmm. Bok as people coming forward in their personal capacity because they, uh, they feel very strongly uh, that the country needs an independent uh, president and they are supporting me in that capacity uh, and uh, we have a unified approach uh, we, we get together we, we become we are unified uh, in uh, working uh, to get an independent president into, uh, into the istana uh, so that we will be able to uh, be looking after the very important decisions in the constitution, uh, looking at it on behalf of the people of Singapore. Okay, um, okay. Um, Dr. Tan, uh, Straits Times. Um, may I know when did you decide to step forward to support Mr. Tan Kin Lian? Um, and uh, what do you think of his presidential campaign so far? I mean, he, he mentioned about the smear campaign and you know, there were all these Facebook posts about pretty girls and all that. Can I have your comments? I think I always worry that this there be a lot of gutter politics. Gutter politics have been that issues very def defamatory to the individual is ending. And uh, if we talk about a dignified campaign, it's best we avoid all this. And at least I go back to my fundamental principle focus on what the presidential election is about. Very simple. Actually, the presidential election, not many things. But then you got to make sure that these people qualify. And they have qualified because we have to go through a stringent process. And they have been given certificate of, uh, of the ability financially. They have also been given a certificate to show that the character is of good standing. So, so, I'm, so when people start to do all that, I say you must refer. If he's got this, this is... This is an approval stamp by the, uh, by, the, by the committee in charge. So I think, what else can we say? Then you better question the authorities 
who approve the candidates, how come this they're so slip up and so on? Okay. Um, 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 this is a question from Sir Duncan Yen. So um, you stressed that you're independent, but now you're backed by two prominent opposition figures. It could mean you're independent from the government, but it does not mean you're independent from the opposition. I think I must clarify that we are mm -hmm. not coming here as opposition. Yeah. We are coming here as individuals <laughs> believing in the same mission as you. And that mission is very, very simple. We just want to come and support somebody who believes that, that, that an independent person is very important to look after our reserve. We are not here as a uh, 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 from. I don't represent my political party. Mm, and yeah, I stated no, no, very no. Yeah. from the very beginning. And uh, if you go from uh, to my earliest. Yeah, but okay. I, I, I will answer that question oh, okay. addressed to me. All right. uh, Dr. No, Dr. Tan Ching Bok and Tan Ji Se are here in their personal capacity. And throughout my campaign, uh, I make it quite clear mm -hmm. uh, that uh, we have problems to solve in Singapore. And politics is not going to help because they distract from solving the problem. Uh, if, you, if you play politics, you spend too much time uh, fighting each other. Uh, we should focus on the problems of the country uh, and uh, the ruling government makes the policy uh, but as an independent president, I want to make sure that the views and aspirations of the people uh, are conveyed to the government so that they are taken into account uh, in, the, in, in the, the final decision that the government makes. Uh, and uh, I do treasure all inputs uh, from the other sectors of the, uh, of the people uh, that uh, convey the right, uh, uh, the right uh, information about what is happening on the ground. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, Mr. Tan. Okay, uh, Bertha, Bertha, Bertha here, just okay. a people. Right. Ah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't see her. <laughs> I can't see you, <laughs> but I'm actually there. Bertha Henson, right? Yes, yes. Uh, my first question is, Mr. Tan Kim Lian, uh, you talked about transparency and accountability. The, the fact is, the President's job is very okay. And however independent you want to be, how are you going to demonstrate to the people that you have been independent? That's one. Second question is, it, it seems to me that based on your NUSS talk, uh, you, you have gradually realized the President's powers are quite limited. And you know, I seem to sense a certain tinge of regret in your tone. What do you have to say to this? Uh, I have always been independent uh, of, uh, in my thinking. I look at any problem uh, and I see what are the key elements of that problem. Uh, and uh, find out what is the best solution. And if you look at uh, my past uh, history, the last 15 years, uh, I've expressed independent views on government policies as a private citizen. Uh, so the, the fact that I'm independent in my thinking uh, is uh, not an issue. I mean, it's most people will accept that this is my character. So therefore, I have uh, I'm independent, it's also collaborated by other people uh, uh, who endorse me and they say they endorse me because I'm independent in my thinking. Now on the question about uh, have I uh, uh, changed my stance about, the, uh, about uh, the power of the president, I have not. It has been quite clear right from the start that I know uh, the president uh, has got limited power uh, on to, to, to uh, influence government policies uh, but that limited power is adequate uh, so therefore I've not changed my stance uh, I've always said I will convey the feelings of the people their aspirations to the government uh, and I will use my influence uh, I call it a soft power uh, to, to get the uh, government to look at these policies. Uh, the people who support me and they told me uh, when I do my walkabout, they know. They know that uh, the, only the, the president can only try. Uh, but we must try. 
Uh, we cannot just say uh, the president has no power and we don't try. Uh, I will try and I'm quite confident that uh, I will be able to convince the government uh, on some of these policies. And if you can't, then what will you do? Um, should we move on? Yeah. I, I will answer the follow-up okay. question. Okay. Uh, I will be restricted uh, according to the... Uh, uh, I was forced to sign, I, I was asked to sign, required. Uh, I was required to sign uh, an undertaking uh, that, uh, that I will not uh, discuss the disagreement in public. Uh, I said that yes, that, that is a fair undertaking, I will abide by it. Uh, but, the, but the people of Singapore will be able to see uh, that I have tried. Uh, and I will continue to try in other ways. Okay, any other questions? Hi, yes. uh, uh, my question is for Dr. Tan Cheng Bok. Okay. So are you worried at all that your endorsement of uh, Mr. Tan Kim will impact the PSP's performance in the next GE? Every decision we make, there's always a risk. <coughs> so as a politician, you weigh the risk. I want to believe that Singaporean voters in the coming years will, vi will view how PSP perform. And uh, we will perform to the best of our ability through my two NCMPs. And I'm sure over time, when you see our policies being reviewed and, and, and studied by Singaporeans, they want to make, for example, PSP their first choice. But I don't want to, as I said, we must be very clear. I repeat again. Focus on the PE. People would like to throw mud at you. But this is this is an election. So if you are the if you are the type or if the mud really sticks on you, then, then that could you got to you got to really try to refute that. Mm. But yeah. basically I think I always want Singapore, please this is a presidential election. Try not distort or try and not uh, bring in the things that take away from these two important elements in the presidential uh, election. Okay, thank you. Oh, we have the last two uh, questions. Okay. One so, question, okay. Lorraine from Sydney here. Okay. Uh, Dr. Tan Chimbo, I just want to ask, right, you know, George Yeo did say, did talk about PM Lee asking him to run in 2011 due to, you know, because you were a candidate. I was wondering your thoughts about it. Is that one of the reasons why you're backing Mr. Tan Chin Yen today? Also, you mentioned George Goh. I was just wondering what's the connection, why you mentioned him today? Well, George Goh has, uh, through his, I would say, his, his campaign, mm -hmm. I've seen all his all all his performance, all his uh, all his videos and so on. I think it reflects a man of quality, financial capability, and character-wise. And I'm sure if he's got the approval, many Singaporeans will also support him. So for George Yeo, the other George, <laughs> George Yeo's, I should be I'm quite flattered by him, <laughs> to be to be told that I posed a challenge to whoever was come because was uh, what they call uh, taking me on mm. or running against me in that two mm. zero. But that is the past really for me. If we keep on mm. dabbling in the past, what about our future? So I'm here to ask you all look at the future. The past well we learn mistakes from the past. We understand the past. And we size up the past and we say hey, the past we need to change why because how come appointments are so odd right if you are the chief of Tomasic and you don't tell me how much you are making i a i have every right to ask that question because this is our money this is the people's money and we have a right to know so please focus focus on the presidential election I understand that uh, we have some lunch to arrange. Yes, uh, okay. So I think that was two questions yeah. in one. Yeah. So I okay. think we will one wrap up now. One last question. Uh, 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 oh, one, okay, uh, one last question. One, yeah. Or is that okay with you, Mr. Tan? Yeah, one, one last question. question okay, all right. Quick one question one for one. me. Okay. Uh, would you have back supported Dr. Goh for his president, uh, Mr. Goh, Josh Goh for his presidency? Is that me, yeah? Mr. Tan Kilian. Sorry. Uh, yeah. uh, if he was nominated. If if Josh Goh was nominated. If Josh Goh was nominated, 
and I, I hear what he then has said. Mm. One of them would have to step No, down. no. And I, he would no, want to step up. I will step down and support George. I said that yeah. already. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Do we need to hold our hands like that? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. 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 This is a unity team.